Salvete discipuli, this is help for your Latin studies in Henley First Year Latin, exercise number 174. In this exercise, we will be translating a paragraph from Latin into English. And it is called De Senatu, which means about the Senate. It's going to be a paragraph that we learn a little bit about the Roman Senate. And so let's, I'll just help you with the first sentence to get you started and let you take it from there. The first sentence says, In senatu romano sunt multi homines nobiles et fortes. Okay, so um, if you recognize a lot of this vocabulary, then you'll recognize that our subject, or well, it says um, we have a preposition here in and then an object of the preposition actually. Sunt is our verb and it's a being verb. And um, multi is an adjective. Homines is another noun, and we've got an adjective, conjunction adjective, nobiles et fortes. Um, so uh, let's start with that prepositional phrase, in senatu romano. So we've got our object of the preposition, and this is an adjective describing it, a quality adjective describing that noun. Um, so the sentence would begin in, that's easy enough. Senatu is recognized as a noun meaning senate, and it's in the ablative case, um, so it, it goes with that preposition. And then Romano, in this case, is an adjective describing the senate. And it would take, um, as this adjective is an adjective of the first and second declension, being paired with a noun of the fourth declension. So the endings might look a little different, but if you really dig, you'll find that they do agree in gender, number, and case. Um, so this is saying in the Roman Senate. And then we have our verb kind of in the middle. Whenever I see this being verb in the middle, um, I have to consider, is, is, are there multiple independent clauses here, or is that verb doing something a little different? And in this case, I think it's, it's um, doing something a little different, and instead of meaning they are, it's indicating there are, which would make sense in our translation, because we're talking about in the Roman Senate, and then we wouldn't go on to say they are, we would probably go on and say there are these things, right? Um, so, sunt, in this case, is going to be translated as there are. There are what? There are multi homines. Okay, multi is an adjective um, describing our noun homines. This is a third declension noun, homo, hominis. And if it, the ending indicates that it's plural, okay? So, there are, and it's in the nominative case because... There are is um what do they call that? It's um it's like a it's like if you've learned English grammar, it's an SVLPN. It's renaming there are men, so it's going to be in the nominative case, plural, and homo hominis meaning man. If we make that plural be men, there are men. But what's the adjective telling us? Multi. There are many men. And before I go on. I've got more adjectives that describe these men. There are many, what kind of men? Nobiles et fortes. So I can write many, but I think we wanna put our, in English, we wanna put our other adjectives before the noun that, that they modify. So there are many what? There are many noble, nobiles, and fortes, brave. These are all adjective vocabulary words that we've learned in the past. So there are many noble and brave men. Okay, so there's your first sentence to get you going. Um, and if you see this po populusque with a little footnote, just check the footnote. It tells you um, what that might mean in the paragraph there. Um, all the rest of the words in the paragraph are going to be vocabulary that you've already learned. Um, if you need to, sometimes I find it helpful 
I've got my book tab to unit one and two, which is all of the nouns that we've learned um, compiled together by declension family. So if you need to review those or you don't have them quite memorized, um, then have a finger there, have a tab there to turn to quickly, and that will help you move um, through the paragraph. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day.